In this video, we're going to go over how to import your data from the Omni using the Omni importer into AVP software, blend and render it, and then export the video as an MP4 file. We're then going to inject the MP4 file with metadata knowing so that video players know that it's a 360 video. And then last but not least, we're gonna to upload to YouTube. So the first thing to do is if you already have the Omni importer software installed, then you're good to go. Otherwise, uh, install that from the color website. And we're gonna go ahead and import the data. For my example, I have the uh, video files saved on my computer. So we're gonna use the locate footage uh, we're going to find the six files with our six USB folders with all the data inside of it. So I went through uh, each USB uh, and saved the data inside of my computer. So that way I can access it a lot easier. If you are using the six USB um, ports, uh, that will work as well. This is just a different way of doing things. So let's go ahead and uh, import it. It's gonna look for the data. Uh, this might take a little while, so I uh, increase the time. Now we found the spherical data. So now we're gonna select a shot, video shot, to uh, start processing. We're going to go ahead and select a folder uh, where we're going to save all of the uh, imported data into. And this will take a while as well. So I have shortened the load time. So that way we can easily get, go through this. All right, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, I'm just gonna do the, the basic settings. Uh, we're not gonna do anything fancy. So the what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go into uh, blend. You can do smooth or sharp depending on how much action uh, is in your video. And there's also a custom option. So we're just gonna go ahead and use Sharp, apply it. You'll see a slight change. And then you have options for other things, but we're gonna keep it basic. And we're gonna go ahead and render, which exports the MP4 file. And the top left corner, you will start seeing uh, the load times. I have increased the video, so that way we don't have to wait for it to take a while. So now we can go ahead and see that uh, that's our MP4 file. It has exported correctly. And now what we're going to do is we are going to imports are we going to inject uh, metadata using the uh, software if you don't have it uh, go ahead and download it and we're just going to go ahead and select our mp4 file that we exported and go ahead and inject and save and now we have our file so we're gonna go ahead and uh, load it into uh, YouTube just so we can uh, view it, the 360 video. This is going to take a while as well, so uh, we're gonna increase the uh, the video speed. Each loading time depends on how big your file is. Um, so this could potentially take 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's first gonna upload and then it's going to process your file. Increase the video again. It's 
now we are good to go. So after uploading it, it does take a minute or two to uh, recognize that it's a 360 video. Um, so you might have to wait and come back later before you click it on that link. But once we uh, got that ready, um, we can see a sample video uh, and can now select the quality. Uh, for this example, uh, we did some specific settings, so typically it will be a 4K. And now you can see the, the sample of video, your first uploaded video from YouTube directly from the Omni.